I don't even know where to really start with this one. It's amazing to me after all of these years of pushing Vada or Nada, fans now want to just say, forget testing. Let's just let them cheat, all of them. But see, the root of this matter started with this situation right here. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He was scheduled to face Daniel Jacobs. Vada pulled up on him right before the training camp and wanted to get that urine sample. And he did what he did. He ducked and dodged and told him, no, you're not getting anything. As a result of him not giving up the urine and blood sample to Vada, the Nevada State Athletic Commission decided to suspend Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., jeopardizing his fight with Danny Jacobs. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. then filed a counter lawsuit versus the Nevada State Athletic Commission under the premise that they had no jurisdiction to start testing Julio Cesar Chavez. It's too early, it's too early. Chavez felt it was too early. But my thing is, if you clean, what well, you gotta hide, right? Just give the urine and blood up. The fight went ahead and Daniel Jacobs was able to stop Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. or he quit or something silly like that. With Eddie Hearn's involvement, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. was able to move the fight to Arizona. The whole point is he was able to get away from Vada, not giving up the blood and urine sample, and still continue to fight with whatever he had in the system versus Daniel Jacobs, who accepted the fight. Therefore, Chavez Jr. was able to find a loophole in the system. Nevada shut him down. Arizona said, come on through. Now look at the Oscar Valdez situation. He's the one that requested Vada testing for his first WBC defense. His opponent's name is Robson Canseco, I believe I said that correct, hopefully. Olympic gold medalist out of Brazil. As we all know by now in the boxing world, Oscar Valdez failed for fentermine in his A and B sample. Oh, cheat now. But because he's fighting in Arizona, the commission will still allow him to fight with fentermine in his system and keep his title. Mauricio Suleiman, we know, is the president of the WBC. And it's no secret at this point that he is biased to the Mexican champs. So much to the point that he will allow Oscar Valdez to keep his belt even after failing a Vada test, sending a message to the world of boxing that if you are a WBC Mexican champion, you can cheat and still keep your belt. But I know what the Mexican fans gonna say. Stop hating. But I can't help it. Truth is the new hate. And the truth is, Mauricio Suleiman, the WBC president, is so desperate to keep the face of boxing Mexican that he is willing to allow them to use performance enhancing drugs in order to maintain that status. What the hell is going on in boxing? What's going on? You know I like to see my own make it in life, but not like this. Integrity rules everything around me. And if I gotta cheat to get there, the top ain't where I wanna be. Oh God.